Hello fellow developers, welcome back to the Line Simulator series. In today's episode, we'll be talking about how to add the more options feature. Let's jump straight in. Alright, so first we're going to start off by inserting episode 2's RBXM. You can get this to the Discord server, it's linked in the description. So you want to drag it and drop it in workspace. Now you're going to make it like flat on the ground. The best way to do that is just drag it off the base plate a bit and just put it down by one stud. Now what you want to do is ungroup everything in the correct places. So example, if it says ungroup in workspace, you would ungroup it in workspace. Alright, now once you're done with that, you want to go to settings. It should be in the home tab and press on security. Enable API services. Just make sure that's green and just press save off for that now it's time to insert the more options file so just drag that into your roblox studio and now ungroup everything where the name is so if it was replicated storage you would ungroup it in replicated storage Alright, for this part is the started UI, you want to just ungroup it. And you can delete the old UI or convert the scripts, but I'm just going to delete my old cut frame. And ungroup the last one into there and delete the old script. Now just ungroup that in workspace. And if you're using R6, you can make your own animation. And, but I'll be using R15 for this tutorial. So you want to select that and create your own animation. If you, don't, if you can't create animations, I'll have one in the links channel on the Discord server. So you can just um, download it. Or if you want, you don't have, your shelf doesn't have to have an animation. The script will still work. I designed it to, to work even if you don't have an animation. Alright, once you're done, you want to press publish to Roblox. And then this will come up. You can change the name if you want, or you can just press save. All right, once it's saved, there'll be like an ID here. You wanna click on that copy button and just copy the ID. Then go to shove in server script service and just change the ID to your animation ID. Now, once you're done with that, you can test the game and everything should be working fine. And press more, you can press the shove button and they both get switched. If there's a little lag, it will just be a bit delayed. Well, if you're not lagging, it should be fine. And just testing everything else, or just skip ahead. And then, just step back. Now, if you may have noticed that none of these Roblox buttons actually work, it's because you have to make your own dev product ID. I can quickly teach you how to do that with this tutorial. Alright, so you want to go on your game page. Then press configure experience. Alright, now you wanna go down to dev products and press the blue button right here. And then name it whatever you want. And set the Robux amount to whatever you want. Now once you're done, just copy the ID. Scroll down to main GUI, call frame one, go to Robux by. Go to the local script, change that to your dev ID. Now go to the next one here. So go to option one, change the dev product to yours. Now just change it for each of the others. Now the last thing I need to talk about is the cost folder. It should be in replicated storage. So there's a, no there's a, there's a number for each spot. And the value would be the skip cost for that spot. So if you wanted to make another one, you would copy it and rename it and change the value to how much you think it would cost. The skip. You get 10% of how much it costs every second. Now you just want to scroll down to screen UI and go to this script. Now you just want to copy paste the line and add your number to it. So just re replace it now go to this script and change it let's go here let's do the same thing you did 
just like that. Now do the same thing in cult frame 2, so do it for buy and shove, it should only take 20 seconds. Alright, that's the end of the tutorial, 200 likes of part 4, and like and subscribe please.